Hi. Question number six. A dressmaker makes dresses for easy fit fashions. Each dress requires 2.5 meters square of material. Faults occur randomly in the material at an average rate of 4.8 per 20 meters square. So this is a Poisson distribution. We have an average rate here. They are occurring independently. Find the probability that a random, a randomly chosen dress contains at least two faults. So since we're going to be using a Poisson distribution, we need to find the mean mu. All right, so now we know that 4.8 um, faults are being occurred every 20, for every 20 meters square. What about one dress is 2.5? Therefore, for 2.5, the average rate of fault is going to be then 20 over 4.8 times 2.5, which is then going to be 0 0.6. Now, because it's a Poisson distribution, so x follows a Poisson distribution with mean lambda, and the mean lambda is 0 0.6. And also we know that P of X is equal, is equal to R is going to be E to the power of minus lambda, lambda to the power of times lambda to the power of R over R factorial. So, we want to find out uh, the probability that a randomly chosen dress contains at least two faults. So P of X at least two means greater or equal to two. That means we're going to say one minus the probability of zero and one. So that's basically one minus the probability of zero. So that's going to be e to the power of minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 to the power of 0, which is 1, divided by 0 factorial, plus um, e to the power of minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 to the power of 1 over factorial of 1. Okay. So, therefore, 1 minus uh, e to the power of 0 0.6, e to the power of minus 0 0.6, we can put this outside. We can say 1 over e to the power of 0 0.6 times what do we have inside? 0 0.6 to the power of 0, which is 1, plus 0 0.6 itself. Okay, and if you do that on your calculator, so 1 plus 0 0.6 is 1.6 divided by, so 1.6 divided by um, e to the power of uh, 0 0.6, and that's going to be 0. 8, 7, 8 and something. So what are we going to do? We're going to take 1 minus this. So 1 minus the answer. So you should get 0 0.1219. So to, to three significant figures, 0 0.122, 3 SF. So this is the first part of the question. Done. Now for the second part, each dress has, has a belt attached to it to make an outfit, independently of faults in the material. The independently of faults in the material, so we're going to multiply the probabilities. The probability that a belt is faulty is 0 0.03. Find the probability that in an outfit, neither the belt nor the dress, neither the dress nor its belt is faulty. If the dress is not faulty, for a dress not being faulty, what is it? P, that the dress is not faulty. So, not faulty is 0. 0 dress being faulty, and that is uh, e to the power of... 0. Point, uh, e to the power of minus 0. 0.6 times e to the power times this. This is 1 anyway. So this is basically um, e to the power minus 0. 0.6. The probability that a belt is faulty was given in the question as 0. 0.03. So if it is not faulty, it's going to be 1 minus 0. 0.03. So basically 1 minus 0 0.03 is 0 0.97. So what is the probability that neither the dress nor the um, belt is 40? So we're going to multiply these two probabilities. So e to the power minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.97. And uh, if you were to do this in your calculator, you're going to end up with, let's try. So e to the power of uh, minus 0 0.6 whoops, uh, e to the power of minus 0 0.6 it's going to give us this much times uh, 0 0.97 here we are, 0 0.532 so now, so this is our answer 0 0.532 to 3 significant figures and here we are now for this third part the dress that has at least one fault and its belt is faulty. Okay, the the dress has at least one fault. P of x being 
at least greater or equal to 1. It's exactly the same as 1 minus p of x is equal to 1. So we're looking at p of x is 1 minus p of x is equal to 1. So p of x is equal to 1 is um, here. So 0 0.6 times e to the power of 0 0.6. Okay. So 1 minus the probability. Um, okay. At least um, p of z being 0, 1 minus e to the power of 0 0.6. 6 to the power of this. So, again, let's read the question carefully. The dress has at least one fold. At least one fold. Yeah. So these are the faulty things. At least one fold. And uh, this will be at least one fold in it. So if we do that, um, B of being good, not one fold, one minus so at least two fold, at least one fold, yeah. Yeah, one minus 40, yeah. So that's going to be then one minus e to the power minus 0 0.6. Okay, so yeah. probability that at least one fold is zero, yeah, so zero here, yeah. That's it. Now, and then its belt is faulty. Okay, the belt is faulty. So, the probability of getting a faulty belt is 0 0.03. So, these two are occurring independently again. So, therefore, the probability that at least uh, one dress is faulty, I mean, at least there's at least one fault in the dress, dress at least, okay, one fault. And the times uh, the other property that uh, and 40 belt and a 40 belt. It's going to be 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.03. So these two are independent. And if you do that, 0 0.0135, um, 13534, and so on. 13534. Good. So 1 minus let's say, e to the power of um, minus 0 0.6 times 0 0.03. No. 1 minus e, so let's say. Anyways, let's do it again. Okay. This is like 1 divided by e to the power of 0 0.6 and you take 1, you minus the answer, you get this much, times um, 0 0.03, isn't it? So here we are, 0 0.01353, 5, 1, 3, 5, 3, 5, okay. 6 and so on. Okay, good. Here we are. Now, what is the um, next part of the question? The dressmaker attaches 300 randomly chosen belts, okay, uh, to 300 randomly chosen dresses. An outfit in which the dress has at least one fold and its belt is faulty is rejected. Use a suitable approximation to find the probability that fewer than three outfits are rejected. We need to understand that N here okay for the fourth part n is equal to 300 meaning that n is greater than 50 and also p is equal to um, at least 140 140 in the dress and 140 belt so this is working if 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 the the dress is to be rejected it will have to have at least one fold in itself and 140 belt then it's rejected so this probability we're looking at this one so therefore, we're looking at a P being then 0 0.01354, etc. Okay, so this probability P is less than 0 0.1. When these two conditions are met here, then we follow, we approximate to 
approximate to a Poisson distribution. This is our suitable distribution. What is the mean lambda then? The mean lambda is going to be 300 times 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.01354. Do that and you get to end up with 4.06. We need to find the probability that at least um, uh, fewer than three are rejected. Sorry, fewer than three outfits are fewer than three outfits are rejected. So if fewer than three outfits are rejected, okay, so that's going to be then a probability of zero, one, and two, fewer than three. Okay, so we have then e to the power of four point zero six times. 4.06 to the power of 0 divided by 0 factorial and also plus e to the power of uh, minus 4.06 times 4.06 all over factorial uh, this time factorial of 1 sorry about that plus e to the power of minus 4.06 uh, times 4.06 to the square divided by the factorial of 2. e to the power of 4.06 is everywhere, so we can say 1 over e to the power of 4.06 outside is at times, what we have inside is this to the power of 0 is equal to 1 plus 4.06 plus 4.06 to the square over the factorial of 2 means over 2. And if you were to work this out in your calculator you will end up with uh, 0 0.231. So here we are for this question. Number 6, taken from June 2006, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Statistics 2.